Hey you guys, it's Michelle aka Stunna and I'm here to do a foundation review on the Perfection Lumiere Chanel foundation. This is one floral ounce and this is in the color 94 Ombre. The back says that it is oil free and dermatologically tested and also on the Chanel website it says it's effortless to apply with seamless blendability for natural flawless effect. This breakthrough foundation is the ideal all day, every day formula available in a diverse range of 20 shades. And I have to agree absolutely that the blendability is amazing. It blends on perfectly. I, um, most, I usually use my beauty blender to apply it. I, every once in a while when I'm just being lazy and just want to grab a brush real quick, I will use my real techniques um stippling brush just dab it on real quick and then sometimes i'll even just spray my beauty blender with some evian spray and just go ahead and finish blending it out but the blendability is superb if i say so myself um now it does say for a naturally flawless effect now it does make you look now if you're naturally flawless then absolutely it will make you look naturally flawless but who is naturally flawless very few of us are and it does give you a very natural look because the foundation looks just like your skin but it does not give you a flawless effect because it is very medium light to medium coverage so if you have any blemishes it's not going to completely conceal those or cover those however um and you know for everyday foundation that's kind of what i like i don't want to look perfectly made up every single day because i mean that's just not feasible and not possible really to look that perfect every day and i want my foundation to look like my skin on everyday basis so the fact that some blemishes um shine through is perfectly fine with me and in this case i am actually wearing it today um the finish is semi-matte if you're more on the oily side then you will get that dewy look but that's probably mostly because of your natural oils and also if you're oily you will definitely want to set it with powder you'll want to set it with powder whether you're dry or oily but especially if you're oily and the skin types that i recommend to buy this foundation would be any skin type um because you know how some foundations are just more for dry or more for oily. I think this is good for any skin type. So this is how it looks on me. Um, I wrote a few notes just to make sure that I covered all the bases of this foundation. Um, like I said, the coverage is medium. I haven't really tried to build it up to full coverage, but <clears throat> I'm not thinking it's that buildable, if I had to guess. Um, the finish is semi-matte. The wear is long-lasting. It will last at least eight hours. I wear it almost every day to work and it does last for my whole entire work day without fading, transferring, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and I've actually wear it, wore it longer than eight hours and it still looked great. It still looked absolutely great and I didn't have any problems with it. The consistency, consistency of the foundation is pretty liquidy, uh, I would have to say. Um, and it does have a scent, kind of a clean floral type scent, but I like the scent. I think the fragrance smells really, really good. But I know some people don't like that, and maybe if you have sensitive skin, I don't know, that might affect it possibly. Um, but yes, there is definitely a scent. Like I said, there's 20 shades. The price is kind of high, but this is a high-end brand of Chanel. So, you know, and you get what you pay for. And, you know, when there's when it comes to buying makeup and finding something to splurge on, you should always splurge on your foundation. Because at the end of the day, if your foundation doesn't look good, the rest of your makeup is not going to look that good. Let's just be honest. It's just not. So, um, I definitely suggest if you're going to splurge on uh, makeup, you should always splurge on your foundation and it is $55. It does have a pump. Um, I usually use about a pump and a half whenever I apply. And here's your pump. 
Um, and it has SPF of 10. And what else do you need to know? And then I guess if I had to give it a rating um, out of 10 stars, I would give it 8. I docked off a point for the price because the price is extremely high. But to me, it's worth it. And then I would probably dock off another point for just the fact that it's medium coverage. And I mean, that's good and all, but if I had to pick between wearing a medium coverage or a full coverage, as far as like the only foundation I could have for the rest of my life, I would always choose the full coverage. So that's the only thing I have about that, I guess. Only reason why I make it eight out of 10. Otherwise, I would consider this my second favorite foundation for sure. It is my everyday go-to foundation, even though it is kind of high. And sometimes you don't want to use a very expensive foundation every single day because you want it to last. But at the end of the day, I mean, you're going to use it. You need to use it. You bought it, use it. So I'm definitely using it, getting my money's worth. Um, but it's definitely a great everyday foundation because it does look just like skin. It looks just like my skin. It just looks like my skin is just even and all that good stuff so that's why i really like this foundation um what else do you need to know i mean i'm thinking i covered everything that you really need to know about it if you have any other questions or comments please let me know i will be happy to answer them also subscribe and if you like this video and videos like this please hit the thumbs up i have another review i want to do i have several foundation reviews i want to do because i just i really like foundation and um i'm the next one is going to be my absolute favorite foundation but that's nor here nor there i'm just rambling on all my social media links are in the bottom bar below and i will talk to you guys later bye